Hi everyone, my name is Zoe Williams and I'm the Youth Services Librarian here at University Park Public Library. I am very excited to welcome you to Toddler Story Shorts. This time is a 10 to 15 minute time for us to share stories, read songs, and work on those skills that your child needs to become a lifelong reader. So we are going to get started with a welcome song. It's in Spanish and English and we'll do the Spanish first. So you can repeat after me. Buenos dias, buenos dias, como estas, como estas, muy bien, gracias, muy bien, gracias, y usted, y usted. And now we'll sing the words in English. Good morning, good morning, how are you? How are you? Very well, thank you. Very well, thank you. How about you? How about you? Of course, if you're watching this video in the afternoon or the evening, you can change those words to Buenas Tardes or Buenas Noches. Our next song, the words are up here if you'd like to say them with me. And this is a great song for practicing listening to directions. So when you hear the word stop, you can use the American Sign Language sign for stop. And it looks like this. Everyone can clap, clap, clap. Everyone can clap, clap, clap. Everyone can clap, clap, clap. But now let's make it stop. Good. Everyone can tap, tap, tap. Everyone can tap, tap, tap. Everyone can tap, tap, tap. But now let's make it stop. Everyone can stop, stop, stop. Everyone can stop, stop, stop. Everyone can stop, stop, stop. But now let's make it stop. You ready? Let's clap again. Everyone can clap, clap, clap. Everyone can clap, clap, clap. Everyone can clap, clap, clap. But now let's make a stop. Great job, everyone. And now we'll read our story together. Today I'm reading Polar Bear's Underwear. This book was written and illustrated by Tupera Tupera. Poor polar bear, he can't find his underwear. What's the matter? Asked his friend Mouse. I've lost my underwear. What kind of underwear were you wearing today, polar bear? Hmm, I can't remember. Don't worry, polar bear, we'll look for it together. Thank you, Mouse. Polar Bear's underwear. Look at this colorful striped underwear. Is this your pair, Polar Bear? No, this is not my underwear. Whose underwear is it? Hmm, let's turn the page and find out. It's Zebra's underwear, and it's his favorite pair too. Stripes on stripes. This pair has treats all over it. It looks delicious. Is this your pair, Polar Bear? No, it isn't mine, Mouse. Whose underwear is it? Hmm. Who would like a lot of treats and candy? What animal could that be? Nom nom nom. It's Pig's underwear. Pig loves special treats. Here's an itty bitty pair of underwear with flowers. Cute. This pair looks too small for you, polar bear. I agree. But whose underwear is it? Who would wear a teeny tiny pair of underwear like that? It's the butterfly's underwear. There goes butterfly with this flowered underwear. The underwear says, I love mice. This must be your pair, polar bear. No, this is not my underwear at all. Well, whose underwear is it? What's another animal that loves mice? How about an animal that likes to eat mice? It's cat's underwear. Run away, mouse. Run, run, run. Cat looks pretty scary, doesn't he? Wow, po polka dot underwear with ruffles. This isn't your pair, polar bear, is it? Let's have a look. Whose underwear do you think it is? Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Can you wiggle, wiggle, wiggle like a squid? 
It's Squid's underwear and he has 10 legs. So those weren't ruffles, they were just holes for all of his legs. This pair of carrot underwear is upside down. Is this your pair of polar bear? No way. But whose underwear is it? Who likes to eat carrots? It's Bunny's underwear and it looks great on her head. See those carrots in her basket too? Hmm, here is some white underwear. Whose pair can this be? Look closer. Whose do we think this is? Polar Bear, you are wearing your underwear. Your pair isn't lost at all. Oh, I forgot that I put on my new white underwear today. It blends right in with Polar Bear's fur, doesn't it? Silly Polar Bear. I had no idea that I was wearing my underwear all along, Mouse. I'm glad that you found your pair, Polar Bear. Polar Bear's underwear, so clean and so white. He loves his pair because it's bright. Polar Bear's underwear, so comfy and new. Would you like to wear a pair too? The end. I hope you enjoyed our story. Now we're going to do a song where we can get up and move around. So if everyone wants to stand up, you can do this song with me. And the words are right here. So let's go walking, 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 walking far, far away. Now we'll walk backwards. Let's walk back again, back again, back again, back again, back the same way. Now let's try marching. Can you march with me? Let's go marching, 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 marching far, far away. Let's march back again, back again, back again, back again, back the same way. Now we'll go stomping. Can you stomp? Let's go stomping, 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 stomping far, far away. I want to hear you stomp. Now let's stomp back again, back again, back again, back again, back the same way. Now we'll walk one more time. Let's go walking, 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 walking far, far away. Now we'll walk back again, back again, back again, back again, back the same way. Great job, everybody. Now I have a flannel to share with you that goes along with our book that we just read. We are going to help Polar Bear find his different pairs of underwear. So first, let's name all the colored pairs of underwear that we see. Are you ready to do it with me? Orange, blue, red, purple, and white. Let's start with our red pair. You can sing along with me. Oh, where, oh, where did my red underwear go? Oh, where, oh, where can they be? I've looked up high and I've looked down low. Did someone hide them from me? Can you point to Polar Bear's red underwear for me? Let's help him find it. Which pair did we say was the red pair? It's this one, right. All right, now let's help him find his orange pair. Can you sing with me? Oh, where, oh, where did my orange underwear go? Oh, where, oh, where can they be? I've looked up high and I've looked down low. Did someone hide them from me? Can you point to Polar Bear's orange underwear? Yes, that's right, they're right here. We'll just put them on top. <laughs> Oh, where, oh, where did my purple underwear go? Oh, where, oh, where can they be? I've looked up high, reach up high, and I've looked down low. Now reach down low. Did someone hide them from me? Where's the purple underwear? Yes, very good, here they are. Here's his purple underwear. Oh, where, oh, where did my blue underwear go? Oh, where, oh, where can they be? I've looked up high, let's reach up high. And I've looked down low, now reach down low. Did someone hide them from me? Can you point to Polar Bear's blue underwear? Which one is it? 
That's right, here they are. I'll put on his blue underwear. Now he's wearing all four pairs, isn't he? But we know how the story ends. We know that he ends up in a white pair of underwear. So now let's help him find his white pair. You ready? Oh, where, oh, where did my white underwear go? Oh, where, oh, where can they be? I've looked up high and I've looked down low. Did someone hide them from me? Where are they? Can you point to them? Very good, here they are. Let's put on Polar Bear's white underwear and then we'll sing the song together from the book. It's that song that we sang on the last page. It goes, Polar Bear's underwear is so clean and so white. He loves his pair because it's bright. Polar Bear's underwear is so comfy and new. Would you like to wear a pair too? The end. Yay! Well, everyone, thank you so much for reading and singing with me today. I hope you guys had as much fun as I did. And now it's time to say goodbye. So let's tickle the clouds, tickle your toes, turn around, and tickle your nose. Hands reach low, hands reach high. Story time's over. So let's wave goodbye. Bye everybody, I hope to see you again next week.